Good morning, gorgeous creatures. Just wanted to pop in real quick and talk about being overwhelmed. I think it's something that happens to a lot of us and happens to me quite often, especially if you are, you know, a big overachiever and a big dreamer like I am. Um, when I'm working on a project, I can tend to have more of a perfectionist personality, which sometimes causes me to overanalyze things and analysis creates paralysis. So a lot of times I end up just feeling like super stuck because I have so much to do. It feels like I don't even know where to start. And if this has ever happened to you, I just have a quick tip for something that helps me through uh, most of my projects, which um, I have a lot on my plate always. I'm always doing a lot. I think I accomplish more in a day than most people do in a week because um, I'm always pushing myself to do so much. So uh, something that helps me is really strategizing and making lists. I am a total checklist person. It saves my life. And once I get something written down, it helps to relieve my mind of the burden of you know having to spin and ruminate on all that needs to get done. So get it off my mind, get it down onto paper. Um, a couple of reasons, I love seeing visually what I have to do. I think that there's so much release too when you get to cross something off that you've accomplished. And then also it creates kind of a sacred contract between me and the universe, like I've written it down. <laughs> there it is in black and white, I have to do this thing now. So once I get my list written down, I start with the smallest task first. It might seem insignificant. It can be literally anything. I don't care if it's, you know, cleaning out your closet, um, getting rid of things that you don't need anymore, giving them to charity, what have you. Um, maybe it's, you know, just as simple as taking out the trash, cleaning your bathroom. It doesn't really matter where you start. Um, I always love to start with cleaning out my closets or like my cabinets because clean closets equal clean mind. You can't focus if you've got a room full of clutter around you. So. Um, when I tend to feel overwhelmed, this is where I start. It's, it's amazing the power of just doing it now. When I see it in black and white, it's on paper, boom, just take out the smallest task and there you go. And I know if you're like me, you're like, well, that's too small, you know? I need to have all this stuff now. I need to be like a professional, whatever, rock climber now, today. I always want everything right now. And <laughs> that's such a huge problem for me, like I said, because I tend to overanalyze things and then I just get stuck. And analysis creates paralysis. So don't do that to yourself. Don't be like me. <laughs> uh, just be okay with crossing off, you know, your small tasks and 1% improvement every single day over a year, guess what? That's 365% better than you were a year ago. So don't underestimate the power of, you know, just crossing off those tiny things on your list. Maybe it's checking those emails or, you know, writing that letter that you've been avoiding or, you know, it doesn't matter, like organizing your finances, like making, Amazon returns. It doesn't matter what it is. It just is, it matters that you start. Okay. It just matters that you start. So when your tasks seem too daunting, all you have to do is write a list and do the smallest thing first. And then one more small thing. And then the next small thing. And before you know it over, you know, a great span of time, your life has changed drastically. And that's how people become great at whatever they do. That's how anybody achieves greatness. It starts with just those tiny, small, seemingly insignificant tasks, but really that's what adds up to a magnificent life. So get your ass in gear, get started. Don't wait, don't procrastinate, don't put it off. Just start now and it will lead to a more magical, efficient, fulfilling, empowering, passionate, dream-filled life, okay? That's how people accomplish their dreams. You don't just all of a sudden, you know, take the, there's no escalator to the top of the mountain. You literally have to take it step by step. You're going to stumble, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to take the wrong turn, you're going to backtrack, you're going to give up almost and then start again. And all of these things are part of the process. So just be gentle with yourself. And I'm literally talking to myself about this as well, because that's something that I need to remember. I can tend to have a perfectionist personality and that <laughs> creates problems for me. So I am also speaking to myself, thought maybe somebody else out there 
might be experiencing the same sort of stuff that I torture myself with every day. So um, let's all uh, take this advice. I'm gonna walk my talk and take my own advice and just take it easy and do one small thing at a time, which will lead to an extraordinary life. All right, well, cheers guys. And uh, hope you're having an amazing magical day and um, enjoying this, this blessing of life. Every single day we're alive is a gift. You know, it's just these tiny, tiny little moments that make up an extraordinary life. So don't let them pass you by, really embrace it and enjoy it and savor every step of the process you're on because the journey is the destination. Okay, cheers. Love you guys. Have a great day. Mwah.